Hey guys, Vazello here. Now, I'm going to be talking about something I really love today, and that is smartphones. I love talking about smartphone tech, and if you're into that stuff, then you might find my channel as your next home for new content. However, today I'm going to be talking about something a little bit different when it comes to smartphones, and that is the Vivo Apex. Sum up what the Vivo Apex basically is, as you can see in this video, like, it's literally almost a 100% bezel-less smartphone. It has a very, very tiny bezel at the bottom, and around the edges, it has very, very thin bezels. It's not 100%, but it's, like, really close, like, 98, 99, around there. The phone is going to have a 5.99-inch display, and it's going to be powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 with 4 gigs of RAM. And it's also going to have a dual rear camera with 12 megapixels plus an 8 megapixels and the first motorized front-facing camera on a smartphone so you probably have a lot of questions about this design like where's the front-facing camera gonna be where's the fingerprint sensor gonna be well i just said that there is a motorized um front-facing camera and the way it works as you can see in this video is it literally pops out of the top i don't know if it's through a software button or you literally just press on it but still, that's pretty cool, and I know a lot of people don't like having their camera always there. They, they're sensitive to that. They may just want privacy, and that's going to be a good benefit to them. Now, you could probably imagine that if you keep turning on the front-facing camera and keep making it come out of its little shell, then eventually the design is going to start to wear down. But still, it's better than not having a front-facing camera in general. Now, where's the fingerprint sensor? Well, the fingerprint sensor is actually going to be on the screen. Now, we have seen this before where you you have, like, a fingerprint sensor on, like, inside of the screen, and you would, like, scan it on the bottom, and it would just be kind of small, and it was kind of sort of worked, but the back placement was usually what a lot of people liked. Well, this time, the front-facing camera is on the screen, but it's bigger, and it's more towards the middle, which might be better for a lot of people, and it might just be easier to, you know, lift it off a desk instead of just having to have your phone just move your finger down to towards the home button or whatever to turn it on, or to so just log into your smartphone. So, this is probably a better design than having it towards the bottom, but still, I feel like maybe Vivo should have put it on the back, but I feel like the Apex's goal is to be a smartphone that looks into the future, and they're kind of doing that with everything, including the fingerprint sensor. Now, price and release date is all over the place. This was originally a concept design, but then the phone was confirmed to get a public release, so we don't really know a whole lot, but quite a few articles I've seen have been saying that the Vivo Apex will be launching at around 39,990 Indian rupees. So I converted that to Canadian and US dollars, and supposedly if you live in the US, you're gonna be paying around 600 bucks for this phone, if this price is true with the Indian release date. This is probably very confusing, and it is confusing me too, because there's been articles saying we don't know what the price is, we do know what the price is, we don't know the release date, we do know the release date, and it's all over the place. So, so if this price is true, then this smartphone is actually going to be a lot cheaper than quite a lot of other high-end smartphones. Vivo is a Chinese company, and they actually are owned by a parent company who also owns uh, OnePlus. So that should, you know, give you a bit of insight on if you should tr trust this company or not. And OnePlus is a very different company from a lot of other Chinese manufacturers. They really want to make sure that their brand stays really stable in North America. And hopefully Vivo will also follow that trend. Now, what's the release date going to be? Well, these are all just guesses from what I can tell. But people are saying that supposedly the phone will launch in India on around May 16th, 2018. If that's true, I have no idea if that's actually what's going to be because there's been so many articles talking about it and everyone's saying different things. But I think in India, you should be able to pick up this phone for around 40,000 Indian rupees on May 16th. So in like 11 days from when I'm recording this, which is pretty incredible. Now, what do I think of this phone? Well, I don't know what to think of it because the price could be really good from what I can tell 600 US dollars that's great or it could maybe actually be a whole lot more expensive which is definitely more um definitely a possibility and maybe that Indian price is actually not true and if that's true and if the phone costs like $12,000 then it just I wouldn't recommend it because this phone is just like a glimpse into the future but if the phone actually does come to the US, which it might, it might not, Vivo phones haven't really had a big presence in North America, 
then it might actually go for $600. And if it does go for that in the US without having to import it, that would be pretty incredible. However, if your country doesn't officially get it, you can still order the phone on like Amazon. So you can get that from a third party retailer. But personally, am I gonna be getting this phone? I don't know. It's cool, it's like a cool concept. But the only thing is that I don't know if it's actually going to be appealing to me. I kind of don't think that it's going to be something that I'd be interested in. Well, it is something I am interested in, but I don't know if it's going to be something that is worth the price for me. Because currently, I'm not... But am I going to be picking up this phone? I don't know. I currently have way too many options to choose from a smartphone. And I've been considering the Huawei P20, the Galaxy S9. I've been considering so many phones, so I have no idea if I'll be picking this one up. But if it does come to like Canada and it comes at a good price, around 750, 760, from what it converted it from the Indian rupees, it'd be around there in in Canada. Then maybe, but I don't know. It's a really neat concept, and because of that, I'd like to hear your thoughts on it in the comments. But anyways, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you have your own thoughts on this topic, then please leave them in the comments. And if you want to check out my social medias, I'll have them linked in the description. And see you.